Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today I want to show you guys how to make a fun and simple junk journal using a paper bag. So, this is how far I've got so far with it, and I will show you guys how I did it. I'll talk you through it real quick. Um, so what I did, I know it just turns out so cute, it's so much fun, it really is. It's fun to play with and they make great little journals. So what you're gonna do is take your bag, just any paper bag you got, cut the bottom of them off like this. So we're just gonna cut the bottom. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your paper bags and uh, seeing what you could do with them. Okay, this I'm just throwing to the side. Use that on another project, okay? And then now what you do is you take it and just kind of look at it, eyeball it, fold it. Okay. And take your tacky glue. I just have art glitter glue and just anything sticking up like this seam right here. I'm going to give it a glue down. Like that. A good old glue down. a second to just grab okay and I can always glue more if I need to but you're gonna take it and fold it okay. and with this one because as you fold it you could feel like there's a spot that doesn't want to fold so I made a just a cute little uh, Fine. So I went ahead and just kind of followed where it wanted to fold. And you could take your score if you have it and do it that way. But I'm just kind of doing this. I just wanted to pop on today real quick and show you guys this fun little bag I've been playing with to make a journal. And I can kind of feel where it wants to fold. It's got like a, I don't know. It's like, as you play with them, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's got like a spot where it didn't want to like fold all the way. So it kind of wants to make a spine is what I'm noticing. Cause it's just like, I don't know. It's like harder in there to fold. So I just made a little spine. So it worked out perfect. So you guys just grab your uh, paper bags and start playing with them and you'll feel what I'm talking about. I guess it depends on the paper bag too. But for some reason, these from Buy Mart, it's just right down the road. It's just a little Mart marketplace. Uh, I go there all the time to get stuff. And uh, I love their paper bags to play with here. They make great little journals. Okay, so I did that. And then what I did is took some fabric and this was fun. So you just take some fabric, uh, do a little snip, a little snip and rip, and keep all these threads. I know I tell you guys that, but that's so great. They're great. They're great to make clusters. But you just take it and just do a little snip where you want it, and then you just rip it like that. So then you have strips, okay? So a little snip and rip is what I like to call it. And then what I did, I want to show you in this, is there's an opening. So you want this part at the top because we're going to make this a big pocket up here. So see that part? And that's the part that folds like that. So we're going to keep that part open. Okay. And what I did is I went to the sewing machine and I opened it like this, did some sewing here, did some sewing here separate. Okay. Then I put it together took my material, stuck it in like this, just wherever. And you got to think about the way the book's going to close the journal on, you don't want your material backwards like that. You want to turn it this way. So you just stick your material inside wherever you want. And you can even do a dab of glue if you want to secure it. 
And then, remember we're leaving this open up here. So you're gonna just zigzag or however you wanna sew. Just sew all the way down and then secure this in there. So you can go back and forth here if you want, just to secure it. And just go all the way down. And then just for decoration, go all the way around. And do the same thing on the other side. So then you stick your, your tie in like that. And then it's secured in there. Okay, so that hopefully makes some sense there. So that's what I did here. And then I did what I told you guys not to do. I put it backwards accidentally. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I have one of these backwards, so I took a bead and slid it in there and turned it the way I wanted it to. <laughs> it was a good little trick. So if you wind up doing that and sewing it backwards, where say this is like that, it's backwards, you know, the thing you could just stick a bead a big wooden bead and just slide it in there and you could do a little glue if you want but and then flip it the way you want it because i did i accidentally put it backwards okay so that's all you do there and then you got your pocket open here just like that so we got a fun little pocket and this is what we got so far okay and let me grab some pretty paper to put on the back and i'll be right back all right, so what I want to do on the cover here is I've been playing around with uh, uh, doing some watercolors and sketching. So these are my sketches and uh, some watercolors and just I did some pen and um, I, then I put some words on it and then printed it, did a scan of it. I did this the other day with you guys uh, on video and I'll, I'll put the link down below if you want to check out how to make cute little whimsical ferns is what I'm calling them. And uh, somebody said it does look like eucalyptus leaves, and it kind of does. I'm like, yeah, I guess it does. But uh, I kind of went fairy, whimsical, fern kind of in my head. So it's just, you know, nothing's exact. It's just for fun, funsies. Okay, so I'm wanting to show you guys. I don't know if you guys want to see it. I'd love to hear in the comments. And if I get enough comments about it, I'll, uh, I'll do it for you guys. But I, I could show you guys how I draw how I do a little sketch with pencil and then I watercolor and then I go over it with pen. So if you guys would like to see that, I'd love to hear in the comments. So please, please let me know. I'm really enjoying doing watercolors and stuff right now. So what I want to do is I don't have my cutter, so let's see how straight a line I can get. I'm just going to cut it out because I want to use one of these for the cover is what I was getting at there. So I think it'll be a fun thing to add to the cover to go with the sunflower theme. Why not? But yeah, I've been really into just sketching and uh, doing watercolors and stuff. So those, those will probably be my near future videos and, and things. I haven't, I haven't sketched in a while. I mean, I did it back in my younger years and, you know, in school and stuff. And I loved art class and I did a lot of stuff then and did like every class I could do and pottery and all that. But it's been years and it's so much fun to bring everything out again. And I would love to just do it and it inspires me and I'm hoping it'll inspire you guys. And then we can just get inspired together. Vintage photo. And Man, oh, I already inked it and then did a scan, so that's kind of fun. And when my husband gets a little time, he's a contractor, so he's working really, you know, he's got busy schedule coming up, but he's the tech guy. I, I'm not very technical at all. And my son's super busy working right now, too, so I want to do digitals. I want to put some of my hand-drawn stuff and painted things. I want to put digitals into my... Uh, Etsy shop, and I would love to, but uh, kind of curious if you guys would be interested in anything. You know, if you would like, like some of these, maybe, you know, I wanted to do a sunflower uh, theme. I got a couple more I'm working on. Uh, I'm gonna put some in a short video today of me uh, inking it up, like putting some ink on it and stuff. So you guys, you know, come check that out. That would help a lot. But yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think of the whole going with uh, a little sketching, you know, for your junk journals. It's kind of fun. And I'm not, I'm not no, you know, huge artist <laughs> of drawing by any means, but 
I think it's just kind of fun just to inspire each other, you know? Just kind of see where we go and see what we get at and just go from there. You know, because things do progress and you never know what could happen. It's kind of fun to take your art and run with it, you know, and see where it takes you. So I think this is just kind of another uh, fun direction to see where it goes, you know? So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really would like to know. I really, really would. Okay, so I'm just giving it an ink around, an inker, inker dewy. Okay. Ink, inkly, inky, do, doodly. <laughs> I'm just making up words. So this is just uh, some paper. And I'm gonna slap down here. It's not even the right size. I'm sitting here yakking away. So I've showed you guys the rip method. So if you rip away from you, you get the white stuff on the back part of it, right? So if you rip towards you, see there, there, that happens. So it depends on what you want, which I don't want all this white. So I like ripping away depending on what I'm doing, but I think I'm just gonna do the top and the back. But that's a little trick to keep in mind. So depending on where you want, how white you want showing and stuff. A little tip and trick. I showed you guys the other day in another video how to do that, but I had the wrong color paper, so it didn't show up that good. See, I like the bag look, because I want people to know this is a bag, you know? Hey, we're working with a bag. So I kind of like that idea. And this is Scotch Create. Oh, hard to open glue stick. It glued itself shut. So I'm just showing you guys just a quick how to do here quick how to do. So you, you know, put your own papers, what you got hanging around and some pretty stuff and fluff it up a little more. But this is just the general construct of it. And I just thought it was kind of a fun idea. I was just looking at it and flipping it around and uh, going, man, okay. It's got cool pockets on the top. And then I'll show you guys the inside. There's some fun pockets on the inside as well. That. I think I'm just gonna leave the inside the way it is because I want this to be a bag. I want it to look like a bag. Okay. So I'm gonna go like that. I'm not even go like this. See, and I already got words and everything. It's already ready to go already. Okay. So that's the cover, just something fun, simple. I mean, you can add lace, you could do all that stuff and layer it up more, uh, you know, however you want to do it. And we got that. And then this is the inside of the bag. And then that's the back of the bag. So we could just do something on the back here. Just any old thing. I mean, you can even do a little layer up collage if you want, but I think I'm just gonna do this and I might just add this. Let's add this to the back. Ooh, wrong scissors. Don't wanna use my fabric scissors. Nope. I don't know if anybody else has that. It's like, don't touch my fabric scissors to cut that paper. You know, have kids grab it and just use it for whatever. It's like, uh-uh. I remember my mom, she's a sewer. She does quilts and stuff. And, and man, you don't touch the fabric scissors. Nope. And I fear myself sounding like my mom. Like, don't touch it. Don't use those. You have other scissors hanging around you can use to cut that cardboard box or, you know, piece of tin foil or something weird, you know, how kids are. Well. I cut cardboard and tin foil, but I use it with my goopy knives or knives, scissors. <laughs> They're always goopy. They always have glue on them or something. Okay. So there we go. Just doing some fun things. I think we got a rip here. So rip away, rip away. 
because I like the stitching to show around the bag here. Okay, so just do something fun on the back here. Any old thing. I think these would be cute to put in my Etsy shop and just add some uh, coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper, which I can go grab that in a minute. We could throw some papers in here. Maybe do a three wool pamphlet stitch real quick. So I could just, I don't have to put this on the back, but I think it would be fun. Why not? Yeah. I could do a better glued gluing down here. Okay. I just wanted to make this a fun, quick little video. There we go. We got the front, got the back. And I think I'm just gonna leave it on the inside the way it is. You could do a little maybe acrylic painting paints and just kinda slap some paint down or, uh, you know, put some pretty papers in. But the reason I'm not putting papers in is because these pockets, you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here. So you could put papers and cut it exact if you want. But like I said, I like the paper bag look and then pocket there. So you got fun little pockets to play with on the inside. And let me go grab some paper and some fun things I'm gonna stick up top here. I'll be right back. Okay, got some paper, got my cutter. So this is just some tea dyed paper and some avocado onion skin dyed, just a little combo. I just grabbed five pieces here. So just something fun to throw in. Some journaling spot. Okay, and I'm just gonna Measure it out. Cut. So yeah, I think I am gonna do that. Uh, as I'm making the, these, I think they're really cute, really fun. And I'm gonna put them in my Etsy shop, just as is when I have it all done. And uh, I might even do a little dangle on the back, but it'll have my artwork on it. So I'll have this on the front and then this on the back for you guys. And I'll have this, you know, like that with the beads. But yeah, if you guys wanna come support me and come check out my Etsy, uh, you don't have to actually purchase. It'd be nice if you just uh, uh, just uh, did a comment, or not a comment, but uh, you know, did a heart and favored my shop. It helps me out a lot. Uh, it really does. It gets me out there a little more. Okay, so what do I have? Five pieces in here? So one, two, three, four. Oh, and then I'm gonna do this. Just a cute little tea dyed envelope. So I think this will be just a fun little junk journal. And I got some rips here, which I don't know if I like that. Let me go grab more paper and I might even throw in Let's throw in some of my botanical. Let's do a botanical page in there too. So I'll be right back. So each little botanical handmade, it's all handmade by me, uh, papers. Um, I just have a stack of different ones here and they'll all be different. They'll have different flowers in them, but I'll add one page to each little booklet. So I think that'd be kind of fun. And a little envelope. Okay, so I accidentally just went ahead and did a binding through here, but then I started thinking, I think this would be kind of cool to have it so uh, when whoever purchases it can remove, put their own signatures in. So I'm gonna do it kind of travel journal style. So I'm gonna go like this, All right? And I'm gonna put some punches in, like here. Kind of where the kind of where the paper just lines up right here, like that. Okay, 
And then I got this fun little just elastic. Don't have no clue where I got it. It's probably like at Walmart or something. It's just a jewelry cord and it's elastic. But what I'm gonna do, this kind of just popped in my head. So I think it'd be kind of fun. So I'm just popping some holes here. We'll see what, you know what? You just kind of do it and see what happens. That's the fun part of crafting, right? There's no rules. We do what we want. But I thought this would be cute. So let's do that. Let's stick with some fun yellow. I think yellow would look good. And yellow with my eyelets. Okay. So I'm just popping it in there. And then you just squeeze it. It's so much fun because you could tell it's a paper bag and it's just kind of, I like it. I like it. And I like this idea that you can move the paper in and out. Okay, we're going to make sure we stay upright. I've done that before, which I guess it doesn't matter because the paper will go in and out. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to pop it through. I'm just trying to see how long a cord I'm gonna need. Cause you wanna do it snug, but not too crazy tight. So, and I can always cut the string to size. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do it snug. This is the part where you wish you had four hands, you know? Or you call somebody in and say, hey, hold that. Do it. There we go. I'm gonna leave those long for now. Then look at this. Oh my gosh, did I do it to the right side? Let's see. You can just pop it in here. And there we go. Cut the tip. And then we can cut these down to size. So see how they're a little bit too smushed. So that's an easy fix. You just take it, do a little trim down. Let's do this side. I'm just gonna do a little trim down here. pop it through just like that. So there we go. And I think I'm just gonna cut all this short because that's that's a good snugness. Oops, I'll do that. So there we go. Now you got removable signature. So that's pretty fun. So you can put whenever you get right in here and do whatever you want. It's less pressure because you can just take these out, these little inserts, uh, make another one and just put your own in and you're ready to go. That, just like that. You can add more paper if you want. So, okay, so that's that. And um, let me grab a little bit of ephemera. I wanna put some stuff in here. I'll be right back. So let's just add some fun little things here. And then I'll do the pockets up top. So this is just some cute stuff I just got off Amazon. It's just, I don't even remember. Just some things that you can have. Um, those are stickers. So I'll throw a sticker in there. Um, another sticker, a little stamp sticker. So these are great to put in these little pockets right here. 
that. And you can put stuff up here, or if you want to. I will stick one up in here just to show. It's a little pocket, okay? And this has little vellums in it, a little postcard. That's cute. Stick that in there. Just some fun little papers to play with that you can collage with. What's this one? That one's really cute. I know. Once you start looking, they're like all cute. I have ink all over my hands. Okay, let's put this one up here. Peeking out. Another little stamp. Let's do a different one. A little stamp. Okay, so there. We got stuff in our little pockets. So that'll come with it. And... I have these cute little index cards. And they came in a little booklet. And this one's a little uh, wiener dog and a crocodile. Or alligator. Probably a little alligator. And what I want to do is I'm gonna put a cute little tab on the top of them. I got my little rip spot I did. And let's just cut this. Let's cut these to size, do a little fraying on them. That's the best part. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my Fabrifix for this it works great for fabric and paper like that to glue and I'm gonna do a little tab so there we go I probably should have inked it first huh probably yeah so that will be fun so we got a little tag up the top and then you got yourself a little pocket a little journaling spot. Whoop. Let the glue dry. Let the glue dry. Okay, I'm going to stick it up like that for now until it dries. Okay, so we got that way, and then I'm going to do it like this with the tab on this side. So, little matching tabs. How cute. See, as we keep going and just start just gluing stuff together and doing things, you just kind of come up with it, you know? Just sit down and start doing some crazy stuff. And you come up with some fun little cute ideas. There we go. But now we got ourselves a paper bag, little booklet with a removable signature. And that was by accident. So that's even better. So whoever purchases it can just uh, add their own little signatures whenever they want. And there we go. So you got fun little pockets up top with some journaling spots. And did I tell you they're uh, hand dyed? I did a uh, avocado and I think the other one's onion dyed. So it'll be whichever I put in there. I got bunches of them. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and you got your paper bags out and got some stuff going. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make this this long, but you know what? I will. And then there'll be extra material you can cut off and use in whatever you want, because I got a lot of this fabric. So th I think this is a great little spring, fun little journal and yeah. So come check out my Etsy shop. I'm gonna have these in there for a reasonable price. They're just fun little quick uh, booklets that you can get and, you, you know, do have it for yourself or give them as a gift or, yeah, whatever you want to do. So please, if you liked it, hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And if you could subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. Keep on crafting. Okay forgot I was going to do a little fun dangle here. So I just took it and ripped a couple pieces of material. And I got a bowl pen here. And I'm just going to go like that. Just tie it on here. Just a 
quick fun little dangle. And just some wood little beads. Just add a couple. And get a little pokey tool. This helps get it through better. The fabric. Usually, it's so sharp that it's poking right through it. But you get enough, there we go. You get enough of it, you could just do this. And I'm just tying a knot at the bottom so they don't come off. Just a loose knot. And yeah, I was gonna add just a couple of beads here. I know we talked about it and then I forgot. I looked at it after I turned off the camera and went, yep, <laughs> that's what I needed to do. Okay, so we got one bead there. I'm just gonna add two little beads just for some fun interest. Okay, you got matching material. And I'm just gonna clip it up through here. There we go. So now, little dangle to go with it and there we go and I'll get some good pictures and put it at the end you guys can check it out okay have a great day <laughs>